Welcome to This Week on Wall Street, your essential briefing into what matters most in markets. I'm Matt Weinshank. I'm the Director of Research here at Stansbury Research, and I would like you to picture this. A tiny nuclear reactor, small enough to fit on a truck, that just landed a massive government contract and sent one stock up 30% in a single month. Now, stick around. Because what I'm about to show you isn't just about this one lucky stock. We're witnessing the birth of a trillion dollar energy revolution that's been decades in the making. And it's something investors simply must be watching. So this week on Wall Street, a little known startup called Oklo just scored a big deal with Uncle Sam. Now, I like to look at more established companies often. This is a startup with zero revenue so far. But it's very interesting to me because Oklo builds nuclear power plants that pack a serious punch in a tiny package. We're talking about 75 megawatts of clean, reliable, zero emissions energy. Now, if you didn't know these type of reactors existed, that's because they're, they're still in development. They're close to a reality, but they're still in the process of being commercialized. And what's exciting about this week is that the Defense Logistics Agency, which is the Pentagon's power buying arm, just gave Oklo the green light for a long-term deal. They're planning to power Eelson Air Force Base in Alaska, way up near the Arctic Circle, with one of these nuclear reactors. Now, it's hard to get electricity up there, and right now that base burns a lot of diesel and coal. But swapping all that dirty fuel for clean nuclear power that runs 24-7 with little refueling is going to make this base more secure, reliable, and independent. Now, investors, they're pretty thrilled too. Oklo shares have jumped 30% this month alone. And you can read more about Oklo's deal at Stansberry Research. We'll put a link in the comments and in the description. Um, but here's what many people are missing. Oklo is just the tip of the iceberg. We're watching a full-blown nuclear comeback story unfold. Back in May, President Trump rolled out the red carpet for nuclear power with a flurry of executive orders. We're talking about cutting red tape, streamlining fuel production, making it easier to get permits for these reactors. And, and this is quite the plot twist because for decades, nuclear power was the villain in the energy story, right? Everyone knows the name Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, Fukushima. Now, these are synonymous with disaster. But here's a fact that might surprise you. Nuclear power is actually one of the safest forms of energy on the planet. It's safer than coal, safer than oil, second only to solar when you crunch all the numbers. Now, the environmental crowd eventually began to focus on carbon emissions rather than nuclear accidents. And under that light, Nuclear went from an environmental enemy to a hero. And then came the real game changer, artificial intelligence, right? ChatGPT came out in November 2022. Forward-thinking investors immediately realized that AI is absolutely starved for electricity, right? Training and running these AI models takes massive computing power. All those servers, they need power to run and industrial strength cooling to keep cool. So. We're talking about data centers that use as much electricity as entire cities. Now, for 15 years, America's electricity use was practically flat, no growth. But suddenly, we're staring at 2 to 3% growth every single year. Now, that might not sound like that much, but adding even a percent or two to production is a huge investment. The International Energy Agency is projecting $1.5 trillion in global power investments this year alone. So when you're talking about numbers that big, nuclear isn't just an option, it's basically inevitable. So how do you make money from this nuclear renaissance? Well, I see three ways to play it, right? The first is the big utility power producers. Take Constellation Energy, it's ticker CEG. This company spun off from boring old Exelon back in 2022, and nobody expected anything that exciting. After all, utilities are supposed to be sleepy dividend plays, but Constellation uses nuclear and renewable power, and it caught the eye of investors. So Constellation runs, I think, 15 nuclear plants across America. They're, they recently announced they're going to restart Three Mile Island. And just two weeks ago, they locked in a 20-year deal with Meta to power Facebook's data centers. And here's a kicker. 
Constellation stock is up around 600% since the spinoff. Our readers in, at Stansberry got in at around $210 last May. Now it's trading near $300. Um, there's a whole other sector of, of nuclear innovators, right? This brings us back to those companies like Oklo. These are disruptors building what are called small modular reactors, or SMRs. Instead of building these massive multi-billion dollar nuclear plants, these companies are going smaller and smarter. Now, it's riskier because these companies are still proving their technology works, but if they succeed, the upside is much higher. Uh, Oklo started as a SPAC last year, and it's already risen 700%. At Stansberry Research, we first told our readers about Oklo at $31 back in March, and today it's trading near 70 uh, Another way to play this is uranium, right? It's the fuel that makes this all possible. Uh, a piece of uranium the size of a penny produces the same energy as five tons of coal. So you can invest in uranium miners or there are funds that track uranium prices. Again, we recommended one of these to our readers at $18 and now it's at 36. So I, I, when you hear those numbers, I know what you're thinking. Matt, these stocks have already run up huge. Did I miss the boat? But I think there's still good reason to be optimistic. Nuclear power had three big problems, right? Public opinion was number one. That's pretty much solved. Americans now favor nuclear power. 56% to 43% was what uh, they, they thought back in 2016. So that's a flip in just uh, 10 short years. Uh, regulation was a problem number two. And Trump's executive orders are clearing that path and making it easier to get nuclear power built. But problem three was one of the toughest, and that was money. Nuclear projects need massive upfront cash, and then they take years to build before you even see a dime of revenue. And that's always been a tough sell to investors. But here's what's beautiful about capital markets. These soaring stock prices are actually solving the money problem. When your stock is flying high, you can sell shares and raise capital easily. So Oklo just filed to raise $400 million in a share sale. New Scale's raising about $200 million. On the bond side, Uranium Miner Cameco sold a half billion dollars worth of bonds. Duke Energy raised over $2 billion. So what we're seeing is success breed more success. So it is true. These stocks are running hot and valuations that are this high always bring extra risk. Also, you have to watch out AI might be a bit overhyped, and I'm, I'm not saying the technology's not legit, but financial markets maybe are getting a little bit ahead of themselves. So if this AI story cools down, even temporarily, nuclear stocks are going to take a breather. But uh, there is also some chatter about tax bill provisions that could slow nuclear development. Now, that's working counter to Trump's executive orders, so you got to watch the progress on the big, beautiful bill. But the best thing to do in situations like this is just make sure your investments are small. There's risk, so you want to be careful. But with this sort of upside, even small bets can end up making you very happy that you made them. So here's my take. If you never even buy a single share of a nuclear stock, you can still be really excited about this story. We're watching technology and smarter policy clear the path to cleaner, cheaper energy, and that's good for everyone. This nuclear industry keeps getting wildly positive news and this story is far from over. So stick with us. You can learn more about nuclear power and the investments we like most at Stansberry Research. We produce free, high-quality research on energy, AI, commodities, and more. So please sign up for free at stansberrydigest.com right now. And be sure to hit like and subscribe so you never miss our market insights uh, here on YouTube. That's all for this week. I'm Matt Weinshank, and I will see you next week. Thank you.